Well, blessings, friends. This is Bishop Andre Woods, and I want to welcome you to this very special edition of This Is My Story. we got very special guests, and you don't want to miss a moment of this special interview today. What I want you to do, those of you joining us, will you just please like and share, like and share, like and share. Send your thumbs up, your hearts up, tag your friends, start your own watch party, join us for this all important conversation today. You're going to be blessed, I guarantee you. And certainly, uh, you know, when we come here, we talk about this is my story, where ordinary people share their amazing, extraordinary stories. So you are in for a blessed time on today. I want you, we're not gonna believe it the time, we're gonna move right into our conversation I'm excited because we're going to be blessed. I want you to help me welcome to this platform, uh, pastors Darlene and Sarah. Blessings to you all today. Thank you for being here. Oh, praise the Lord, Bishop. Well, blessings to you as well. And thank you so much for having us on your wonderful show. We're so glad to be here. Yes. yes. Good to see you, Sarah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, we got a lot to talk about because I'm telling you, when I look at you two sisters, I just go way, I go way, way, way past way back. Yeah. You, know you get past there, but we can go there today. Listen, I want uh, uh, both of you to take your time, you know, whoever want to go first and just give us you know, some background on yourselves. Let's go back, back before pastors, go all the way back to when you both start singing, got in music, all your church upbringing. Just give us as much history and your background as you like. Whoever wanna go first, go. <laughs> Amen. Well, I'll get it, I'll get it started. And then, <laughs> um, you know, Pastor there, I will take up the wheel. Amen. Because I'm a listen, Bishop, wait, first of all, before we go way, way back, let me give you a shout out. Woo Bishop Andre Woods, for many of you may not know, Amen. He was my first organist teacher, because I get yes, you know, I yes. every night, and everybody just, oh, we love your plan. Well, kudos! Oh, <laughs> yes. That's right. Was, uh, for teaching me how to play the organ. That's my favorite instrument so thank you bishop oh andre no sunny he was sunny then and it's amazing how god you know connect people and he connects people uh for a reason he was sunny i was just darling yeah. yeah and now i'm pastor Darlene. but i'll get a sign in then i'll uh, pastor there uh i'll give you some you know you come on in but i want to go back to when we were four and five years old. See, I'm going way back. Yes. And that's how our singing started. You know, our mother and our auntie had us in a little children's choir. Yes. And that's when we first started. And it's we want to encourage parents, you know, tap into your children's gifts because our mother did. Our mother gave us music lessons and yes, she and her sister, uh, Pastor, what were their singing names? Um, our mother, Mary and our auntie Aunt and Dorothy. Mary and Dorothy. Oh, amen. <laughs> and they were singers. Amen. And yeah. see, that, that goes with the scripture said, this work that he's begun in you, he will complete it. Many of us, the work that we're all doing, it just didn't start with us. It started way back with our parents. Our grandmother was powerful in the Lord. But anyway, let me just say, um, we started, we were four or five years old in a little children's choir. I never will forget the, the little Baptist church on Barney. Amen. Mm -hmm. And then our mother gave us piano lessons. I was five. Sarah probably was about seven or eight. And I remember myself, I did not like the theory because I, we both had the ability to be able to play. And thank God my sister Sarah learned how to play by ear first. Then she taught me. So that's how we started. And then we started playing for different little churches as teenagers, yes. little kids choir. And Sarah, go ahead, you can share some more and then I'll come back in. 
<laughs> yes, and that's how we uh, got started in that particular area. And then we begin to go to different churches, uh, uh, plan, and then I stopped playing and I started directing. And yeah. I went, to, I went, uh, got uh, familiar with the AME. Yeah, so I was still sanctified and whatever, cause I sure would get my shout on. Yeah, and uh, I was training a over fifty voice choir at the time. And, and it was enjoyable. Uh, that's when our ministry was beginning to uh, come into folds. And so uh, then Darlene said, Pastor Darlene said, Sarah, you know, uh, I, I think it's time for us to get out the nest. And I was shaking in my boots because Darlene, Pastor Darlene can go. <laughs> no bars hold. <laughs> And I said, well, okay, if that's what you are, uh, you know, saying that the Lord is telling you, I said, he'll compel me to, and that's how we got uh, started. And I remember I used to love to go to Neapolitan. Oh, yeah. wow. Ooh, that marching song, I got it. I yeah. taught that to every choir I had. But yeah, they could, now. I mean, back. they could sing, and Bishop Woods could tear that organ up. And his brother at the time, we called him Stinky Peak. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. So you know we go way back. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, boy, he could tear that organ up. And I was so happy when he was teaching uh, Pastor Darlene. Hey, Amen. Boy, you couldn't stop her. Go that's ahead, honey. Right. And you know what? And that's, that's it right there, Pastor Sarah, because... Mm -hmm. I remember back to Neil Paladin and those Easter combined services oh, with Sunrise service. Jeremiah. Oh, yes. and in fact, I was I came to United House Jeremiah because of our cousin Olivia. Yeah. Um, yes. What it was is her brother Charlie, who's a doctor now. Well, then he was not a doctor. We had this little singing group called we were going to be like Gladys Knight in the Pips, amen. <laughs> and yeah. they had this contest and one of the radio shows. Well, we did not win, but I had promised Olivia. I, she said, now, when you finish with this contest, I promise you'll come to church. Make a long story short, I did. Pastor Gooden hired me to play. And see, everything is just like um, preparation to yeah. people that what you're doing now, whoever's watching, don't get discouraged. Just Keep that's going. right that's right and, and we you know um i started playing for the church and as pastor sarah the new pollen days and let me tell you during those times we would have night services we would uh pastor good would pull those chairs out we get on our knees and we would sit right. down. and i never will forget that's where i got my first really in feeling touch to say lord i am not serving you because my mother's taking me to church, but I want you. And know, I was a young lady, maybe 18 years old. That's but right. there was a snowball once I got into that church. I got saved in 1970, 1977, got filled with the Holy Ghost. But 1972, we both got married at the same time. Amen. So Amen. it's just always been, God's been ordering our steps all the, the the way and those back to what pastor was saying about those sunlight services i mean we would shout for hours amen <laughs> sure and then nobody was oh we're gonna get y'all and then, wait a minute I, I, I know we live in a different time my daughter always mother people's attention man but we would shout we sure and would shout. and i i tell you God, for some reason, I'm I'm getting that man. I got that man so back shouting because there's something about when you praise God in the dance. And then I want to say right. a few more things with Pastor Sarah. Have you um share some more? So, but that was like the beginning of our ministry. Amen. Like she said, directing, singing, and then all along that journey, God gave us our own t uh, radio show, not TV yet, but radio show. And that's how he started really, you know, helping us to articulate in the midst of us learning so much about there was so much good teaching was going on at uh, between our two, uh, uh, you know, uh, churches, fellowshipping, knowing how to just enjoy the Lord, you know, not rushing out of the presence of the Lord. 
God That's gave us right. a radio show. We've been on radio for years. We uh, made our first vinyl record called Darlene and Sarah. Resurrection was one of the songs and looking on to Jesus. We had a prison ministry. Yes. Yeah, remember that with uh, Chaplain mm -hmm. Brown? And I mm -hmm. mean, we did that for about four or five years. But you, when you went into those prison ministries, child, they locked you. You go in they there, sure they lock the door. But Sarah, do you remember our... Um, Altar calls that we would have when we go into that prison ministry. Oh, yeah. Anywhere from 50 to 100 women. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Give their lives back to Christ. Yes. And they, yeah. they used to love when they would hear that uh, Darlene and Sarah's coming. And yeah. they would come out of, the, out of the woodworks to come to hear us sing and, and bless the Lord. Because, see, when you praise the Lord, it's not, it's not a fashionable thing. You praise him because you love him. Come on now. When you, yes. when you fall in love with Jesus, he makes everything right in your life. Good example through our ministry. Uh, you, I, I, I met my husband and I'm married now and again. And my first mm -hmm. husband died, but our God has blessed me, been married. Today is our anniversary. So Bishop, you know, we love you. Oh, happy anniversary. Yes, I am. It's oh. the day of our anniversary. Thank you, Evangelist Taylor. Thank you, man of God. Oh, because yeah, he, he says he know. He said, I know. Yeah, Mr. yeah. Ford, he knows me as Ricky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. And oh. so, uh, but anyway, and he's a wonderful guy. We've been married six years because oh, I God. stayed, uh, Pastor Darling would help me so much uh, when in the first loss of my husband, I would cry and whine. And, and she said, and I told her, I said, I'm not ministering anymore. She said, honey, you're going to pick your feet up and come on, get up. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. She said, oh, the devil is alive. <laughs> she said, that's a melly kind spirit on you and it's going to get up off of you. Yeah, but God is so, 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 so good. Bishop, this is just so nice. It's yes. just right. so very good There's some more stuff we're going, going to share. <laughs> and oh. Now, yes, Sarah did meet her husband along our journey. Amen. Yeah. Now, where I still, okay, we, from United House to Jeremiah, and I, I wrote some few notes, but <laughs> yeah. the journey has just been awesome. From United House to Jeremiah, then we went to Souls for Christ. That was my um, aunt and uncle by marriage. And uh -huh, we did, uh -huh. we the minister, yeah, the ministers of music there, and we stayed there uh, a good while. Then from there we went to um, uh, Souls for Christ. Went for Souls for Christ, and after that we went to uh, Word of Faith, and we, now that Ooh. was an awesome experience because yeah. we were over the virtue of women. We were also on the regular praise team, and we were in the choir. And Bishop, um, I tell you, uh, Bishop Butler was always so, so kind to us. And he was on rotation too. Said, yeah, when we sing, he said, well, the dynamic duel, have done it again. But you know, it's, it's amazing how our journey, because we did go to different churches, but God had us going to different churches for different reasons. But we were there at um, Word of Faith for about 10 years. And that's where I really, really, yeah. really taught the importance of standing on God's word. See, word. now look at this, yeah. Pastor Sarah and, and Bishop Sonny Wood. He gave us our shouting. And it was a good word there, too, at, at Jeremiah. Because yeah. Pastor uh, Gooden was the only first pastor that I heard teach. God wants you to prosper. Yes. You know, be in lack. John that's 10 right. and 10 says the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy, but I came to give you life. That's right. And that's, that's more right. abundant. And so it's nothing uh, 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 good about being sick, down and out in the curse of the law come on you. No, God has given us authority to break oh, the, yeah. that the enemy is just trying to stub on you. Amen. Yeah. So it's been a good, good, good journey. Now, yes, we shared, we had trials. Sarah, we had, we had our double wedding. 1972, uh, November the 4th, we said I do at the same time, but we've always been very close and we are still close, but she, her, she was married 28 years and God had another plan. Her husband went to heaven. 
was Sarah yeah. gave me 10 extra years. <laughs> yeah. I, I was married 38 <laughs> years and then, you know, the Lord called Tony home. Tony was the best, 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 best. Yeah. Husband. And, you know, I have to, let me, let me testify the goodness of the Lord. The Lord literally picked me up and he carried me, even though I never gave up on yeah. Tony. Even though he was in and out of the hospital, when the doctor first discovered what he had, the doctor said, oh, he got just a, a month or so to live. But Tony and I, we, and my kids, we said, nope, we're going to push on through. So the Lord was gracious. He gave him an yes. extra push through, two years. But I always, I always, and that's what I did. I'm saying this with somebody. Don't you give up on your loved ones? Hallelujah. Yes, I, don't, I know doctors are doctors and thank God for that. But Jesus is the master physician. Amen. Yes, and so yes, we yes, never yes. gave up on Tony. And I was there every day at the hospital. And I thought, I believe he was going to walk out, but he did not. But I did not doubt God because I That's knew right. that Tony got his feeling, not on this side, but on the other side. So he's home, mm -hmm. you know, and this walk, I'm telling you, when you, and that was 2011, I, I had accepted our call, my call, 2010, and Sarah said, well, I got to pray about what she was talking about. This is not a play thing. No, it That's is right. not. That's right. Amen. So I said, you pray about, but I got my call, this is clear, 2010, and I got my call, and, you know, 2011 got, you know, called Tony home. And, and people yes. have to realize they see the glitz and the glut. They see Bishop Andre Woods, you know, with wonderful show. They see us on here talking and woo, hallelujah. But honey, if you, you got any kind of anointing, you have paid a price. But I'm going to tell yes. you something. That's right. That's and right. I'm the price is worth because God's not going to show you what it's going to take for you to get from step A to step M right. or from That's step right. M to uh, Z. Because we did. Most people say, oh, that's okay. You know, <laughs> and I, the Lord had me so strong. That was 2000. I had, we got a, a call in 2010. I got it first. Sarah said, I'm going to pray about because I said, God said, you are to be the co-pastor. Even though we had had a lot of words saying co-pastors, co-pastors, but I'm still pray about it. But That's the right. thing about it is that we got that call. Thank God, Tony got a chance to enjoy our ministry for a whole year. During that time, we were renting. Our yeah, first place yeah. was a uh, holiday you, in. Let me Dallas. jump in right there. And let me jump in we, right there, darling. You, uh -huh. mentioned, you mentioned Tony. I've got, I've got to say this about him. Okay. Because many days you, you didn't see him. He was with us playing basketball. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> he would play him. I don't know if you remember James Porter, who yes. was at Neapolitan. All of them, uh, they'd come and get me. We, if we wasn't at the rec center, we was in somebody's alley mm -hmm. playing basketball. Yes. Such, yes. such a great gentleman and guy. And what was that center right there across the street from his his mother's house, his parents' house? Oh my God! Yeah, we go way back to that rec center over there. Yeah, off off of uh, uh, was it Gothy? Well, no, that wasn't Gothy. It was um, yeah, yeah, it was Mark Elliott and Concord. Con yeah. yeah, yeah, we listen, and they would come to Scripps Joy Eastern Rec Center. That you know, that just that's 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 kind of uh, aging us because that's before they told Eastern High School down they had recreation <laughs> at night. For, right. Uh, but that's that. I mean, you mentioned him. I had to pause there, and remember such a great brother. Uh, uh, he was such a blessing, uh, yes. encouragement to to all of the young guys yes. that were coming around. The young boys, you know, he took. I I seen him take time, show him how to dribble, and talk to him on the side. Just little little things like that. Uh, and such a blessed family. I, I remember all those days. All right, I just had to put that in. I'm sorry. You know, hey. now, now, Bishop, you know, yes, everybody know I love talking about Tony. Thank you for that. And he he was just, he was a, a local legend in basketball. Yes. And I, and I just said this not too long ago. I said, I know, and I'm telling my kid, what are you, I'm, his seed's going to be a superstar. Yeah. I don't know what's going to, it might be that first 
we just got our first, uh, I just got my first baby grandson. Because oh, I have seven grandsons for these wonderful children, which you talk about all the time, beautiful. Um, you know, so well, let me give my kids time. And Tony and Tom, their family, Yolanda, Tanya, Mary, Ron, me and I, Lane, yeah. Yeah. and just you know, he, your uh, son, yeah, your son was, your son and baby your daughter. Baby daughter, daughter. As mm -hmm. Evan was there. But yeah. I said, I told my kids, one, come up in there. But anyway, thank you for that, uh, Bishop. And well, let so me talk about your son too while you mentioned him because they were my engineers at WMKM. Oh, and yes, and yeah. told your boy Bell. Yes, oh, when, yeah. when, when uh, I was broadcasting, I met, yeah. met him and of course his wife, she was working there too. And Yolanda, yes. Yes, yeah. yes. I, I mean, we go we, we go back to all those memories. Thank God for yeah. that. Yes, but yes. See, that, that, Amen. God, you know, when you just think about Connections and thing is so divine. And I'm gonna say a little bit more, then I'm gonna give some space. Yeah. So I gotta get this journey, you know, <laughs> a little bit more of it in because she she touched on something that I really that was so important. So from word of faith, we went to Miracle Temple, Bishop Horace Jackson, which that's the brother of you know the legendary Wayne T. Jackson. Yeah. And we were there about a good 10 years again doing praise and worship. We actually learned how to worship at Word of Faith. We learned how to praise at United House of Jeremiah yeah. and Neil Powell. See, and so you combine the both together. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's powerful because, you know, and I encourage people on a daily basis don't focus on what is not going right, focus on what's going right in your life, focus on the promises of God. God has given us promise. Well, you can't blame God if you're not standing on your promises and it's a trust walk. But we were there at Word of Faith for about another uh, 10 years. And then from there, we went to what Sarah alluded to, St. Matthew. And that's when that girl, she started just directing and the Lord anointed her. And I, I was playing, I was the you know, minister of music. But the thing about it from there, that was the home church of Rosa Parks. And yeah. that's when, you know, when they had her celebration, uh, the pastor there, Gloria Park, she's in heaven now, God bless her soul. She said, you know what? I'm not going to let them snub us. I'm not going to let them overlook us. We are going to sing. So she, she wanted Darlene and Sarah to lead a song, which we did. And yeah. I'm telling you, Bishop Woods, that experience there, that was a worldwide platform. And see, we knew it was going to be on local news, but you know how God to do. God mm -hmm. said, they don't yeah. even know what, what I've done. I, they don't even know. I'm going to confirm it. So it was a lady working at St. Matthew. She worked on the airline. And she said she was going through Zimbabwe. She said she saw Darlene and Sarah, and she had a fit. And then one of my cousins, he was doing a mission in Africa. Oh, there's Darlene. So the Lord confirmed it was the worldwide platform. And then when one of the channels went off, guess what they who they spotlighted? Yes. There. And the Lord it. said, I did this for you. This that's is not right. the end of it. Amen. But that's, I'm glad you brought that up, uh, Pastor. St. Matthew, that's where we, we had our first, I'm talking about not local. Of course it was local. But it was a worldwide uh, presentation from God himself. And see, this whole thing is a trust walk. Don't look, don't compare your walk to somebody else's walk. Because That's like right. Pat That's Carol right. say, the shoes may be a little too big. But yes, it's a good walk. It's a faith walk. But honey, Jesus didn't say, oh, you're going to go tiptoe. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. He said, in the world, you are going, you're going to have some tribulation. Be of good cheer. I've overcome the world. And I never will forget one of the toughest, um, one of the toughest battles was when our mother went to heaven in 1996. Uh -huh. She was our best, 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 best girl. Mm -hmm. Amen. But I'm telling you, that was the first time I ever experienced um, supernatural peace. God literally picked me up and carried me. And then, and I felt that same supernatural peace when the Lord, yes. you know, Tony, 
to have it. So we, you know, with St. Matthew, and then from there, that's when we got our call in the ministry. I, um, I'm a retired elementary school teacher, and I have been teaching 33 years, and I retired in 2010, and mm -hmm. 2010 is when I got ordained. So you're not going to tell me God doesn't have perfect Amen. Perfect. Timing. The orchestrated. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, but you know, more I can say, Sarah, but you go ahead because you know, I, but, you honey, I see. <laughs> but you know, you have to work with God too. And yes. I, I, I want to say something for the single women on today. Mm -hmm. When my first husband died, I stayed by myself for 10 years. Mm -hmm. I did not, I did not date, I didn't want to be bothered. I just wanted me and Jesus. <laughs> and I said, I knew he had the perfect man for me. Yeah. But I'm saying this to say, ladies, be celibate. God got yeah. something special for you. Mm. You 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 stay on track. Don't That's let right. anybody get you off track. That's right. The Lord has something so special for you. And it, and if you let the Lord, he'll do it for you. Yeah. And I'm really, I'm talking about this because today is my anniversary. I must really love Bishop. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Lord. Or, or I would not be on this. We, we'll do a little something, something when I get off. Yeah. But, you know, just a, just a nice young man. He is just, yeah. he loved the Lord. And, I, and it was a blessing because we had a church. And that's where I met him at my church, but I wasn't there at the time. I was going to St. Matthew's playing, you know, and directing. And then when I started going to the afternoon services, uh, he asked my sister, he said, how's your sister doing? Donnie said, oh, she's fine. He said, tell her I said hi. And then it's so funny, Bishop, because he came to me and he's looking all at me and he's talking about, the Lord says, you my wife. I said, well, he ain't told me. <laughs> <laughs> I said, he ain't tell me nothing. Not nothing, but nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and it, 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 it held true. So, you know, uh, we dated two years before mm -hmm. I thought about getting married. And so that's eight years. So the Lord is good, ladies. You pray and you ask God to send you somebody that's going to be good for you. Because yeah. Mr. Jones may not be good for Sister Sal. <laughs> he might roll your socks down. Mm -hmm. But you ask God to give you a tailor-made man. That's if that's your desire. Because it may not be your desire. Everybody doesn't have the, that desire. But if it is, I just thought I would plug that in. Just stay faithful to the Lord and he's going to bring you out. And, and yeah. get up on the good pastor. Uh, Bishop Woods is a good pastor. Get up under him. He, he teaches. Get up. If you don't want to get up under Pastor Darlene Fair, we'll yeah. teach you. Amen. And that's what, <laughs> that's what it's all about. Staying in love with Jesus. Yes, Lord. And I tell Amen. you, when you fall in love with Jesus, honey, yeah. there's no love like Jesus. Yeah. Nowhere and nobody. Pastor Darlene, I know you itching to get back in there. And then well, I'm no, we, to, we won't do. We won't tell everybody. If you're just joining us, we got Pastors Darlene <laughs> and Sarah on live and want you to hear their story. We're going to segue. Uh, I want you to, uh, when we come back after this song, I want you to play the song. Set this song up that God given you, Pastor okay. Darlene, and talk about the song and then share a little bit of that with us. And then we want to talk about uh, your ministry, the church, and yes. what God, uh, how all that came together and what God is doing in okay. this season for you. All right. Are you ready for the song, Bishop? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Tell us about the song, how you wrote okay. it. And yeah, play a little absolutely. Bit of it. Um, actually, this is a re-release of a song that's called my love song to jesus um it's been about maybe 10 maybe about 10 years um we did a what is called darlene and sarah 
we just start off doing like a nice collection, but then got renamed it to Darlene and Sarah's Classic Collection. And our mother, thank God for our mother, she yeah. uh, invested in these songs, some really good songs. And um, the Lord just told me, he said, you know what, go on and start re-releasing these songs. Of course, we're going to do some new music after, but these songs are just classic. So this is my love song to Jesus. It's a, a heavy worship song. It's a re-release by Darlene and Sarah, and it is available on most digital outlets. And if you don't have a digital outlet platform, honey, go and get it from YouTube. Amen. Then eventually we're going to do, uh, of course, some videos, and then we're going to have some more of our songs released and then, you know, take it from there. But this is my love song to Jesus by Darlene and Sarah.
Wow, That's wow. Listen, y'all need to go to your digital outlets and get this. Is it on YouTube as well? You, you unmute yourself. You're on mute, Darlene. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is that on YouTube as well? And by Darlene and Sarah. Okay. Turn yourself back up. We, we're losing your volume, okay. darling. Yeah. Can you hear us? Can you hear us? There you go. I can hear you now. All right. There you go. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. What a bless. What a bless song. Now, now, did you all write that together? Yes. We what write all our songs together. <laughs> oh, what an awesome blessing. Thank what you. an awesome blessing. So it's on all digital outlets or certain ones? Uh, all most of them. We went okay. through a uh, distro kid. <laughs> oh, okay, so yeah. Most of them. I mean, it's, it's so cool because, you know, like it, it is on just about everyone that I've tried. Uh, Apple and Am Amazon and, of course, TikTok. <laughs> yeah, go and Thank get the you. song so you can hear it and be blessed. A love song for Jesus. Yes. Oh, oh, well, listen, tell us about the ministry, about the church uh, and uh, how things are going and what God has been doing and uh, what God is up to on your behalf. Okay, I'm going to start off our journey and then uh, I'll give it to, <laughs> to Pastor Sarah because this, this journey is so important. Um, as I said, we accepted our call in 2010. And in 2010, the the day that we were ordained, God said, open the doors of your church. But see, mm -hmm. we had already had Darlene and Sarah Ministries, which we're both C co-CEO of that. And so we were having all type of back to school spectaculars. But this particular time, we were ordained by our bishop. Shout out to uh, Bishop Reginald Burrell, the Solid Rock Fellowship. That's our covering, Dr. Joyce Burrell. And so the day that we got ordained, God said, open the doors of the church, which we did. And we had people to come up because, you know, we, we were doing a lot of ministry and people want to just be a part of it. So we started our first uh, church service was downtown Holiday Inn. We stayed there a year. Then from there, we went to Holiday Inn Southfield. We stayed there for maybe a couple, two or three years. And then from there, because um, uh, we had a real huge uh, children's outreach choir, and, you know, a few little, we would have rehearsals there and people were, it just, we knew our time was to leave. The, the hotel people were nice, but it just, you know, when your season's up somewhere. And then that's when we went to Salvation Temple. Amen. God, shout out to Dr. Scott to share his edifice and they were so nice. And that's where Pastor Sarah met her wonderful husband. <laughs> and so we were there, we went there in 2013. We stayed there till about maybe 2015, something like that. And then from there, we um, went to Shaw Center. And after Shaw Center, then we went so we stayed there maybe a couple of years. Then from Shaw Center, we went to the Comfort Suites. Amen. Mm -hmm. Went to Comfort Suites in Southfield. And we stayed there until the worldwide pandemic came. Which I can just say, Jesus, thank you. I mean, even though it was now the other side of that, it, it, it was terrible. But how, you all know your ministers that God can bless you anytime and anywhere. And that's that thing right. absolutely turned out to be a blessing for us because you know that everything was closed down. But praise be to God that while we were, you know, in the virtual mode, um, you know, well, my children are all grown. They for the, most of them, all of them, they got good jobs. And they're good, strong past. Sarah's a good strong giver and her husband. And myself, you know, but my children, we just kept on, and some of the members just kept on sewing. And I know God told me at the beginning of that pandemic, he said, when you come out of this pandemic, 
You're not going to have to share a church. You're not going to have to rent a facility. A facility. I'm going to give you your own. And so the pandemic um, that was two years, it started in 20, 20 went by 20, 21. And then the, uh, maybe like around May in 2022, my daughter was dealing with a, a real estate agent, you know, for her personal things. And she said, you know what? My mommy, not my mommy, but my mom, God bless you, Vanda, Sarah Bell. My mom and my auntie are looking for a church. If you come across a church, let me know. Guess how long it was after she said that? One week, two weeks to the most. She said, I've got something that just came on the market. It just came on yeah. the market. And, you know, we just, you know, we, we, we put our bid in. <laughs> and we put our bid in way up. And to make a long story short, we had path, we had favor with the pastor. He said, you know yeah. what, I want your, I selected your church. And the rest is history. Woo! And Amen. I, that was another journey because it's one thing to teach faith, but then when that faith time comes, yeah. it's like, okay, your, your, your Red Sea moment comes. Yeah. And, you know, my daughter, she, uh, you know, she created the GoFundMe and we just kept calling everybody and, you know, praying and believing. Well, we closed. August the 17th, and we're do, we're tweaking up things now. You know how it is, Bishop, you move into another church, and we're just, you know, a little bit more tweaking, and we will be having our grand opening very, very soon. So we thank the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Bishop, I can't hear you. I had myself on mute. I said, that's awesome testimony I've been hearing. Such testimonies from around the country, pastors. Pandemic don't mean nothing to God. That's God, right. God would do what he's going to do. He would do just what he said he would do. And we're watching him walk us through. I remember uh, the late, uh, one of my mentors, Dr. S.L. Jones, Mount Zion Baptist Church. He said to us many times, God won't bring you to that he won't see you through. All you right. Know, he, if you come to that place that God has promised, he's going to give you your promise. His word will not return back. Boy, what an awesome testimony. So uh, uh, we're looking forward to uh, marching into this sanctuary and, and yeah. getting ready for that, that, that worship experience in your own sanctuary. Praise God. Praise Amen. God. Amen. Yes, yes. God is, is just good because see what we had saved over the pandemic that was like okay you got us a good portion yeah <laughs> but we had to believe god for like yeah ooh, over like 40 something thousand 40 45 thousand yeah. dollars and but our god i'm telling you god oh he's an awesome god and he yes he's, yes he did it. And yes, we'll be having our grand opening soon. And Bishop, you know, I definitely, you'll know about it. Yeah. And it will be a matter of, we're, like I said, just some little things that, you know, making the building ours. Yeah. And it's our Lord Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I thank you for this worldwide platform. Nobody could do this for a site and life Christian center, but you, Lord. And we give God all the praise all the honor and all the glory. And then we see all the ministry we've been doing. Now it's, it's all been just joining hand in hand. We have our own, you know, radio show every Wednesday, WMKM 1440. We've been on WMKM for years and years. Yeah. But our show still comes on, exciting life, a radio show, amen, with Pastor Darlene Sarah, call, uh, guest calls, uh, uh, what is it, Sarah, Mr. Dress Up, uh, Derek, dress up, Taylor. Mm -hmm. He always said before you mess up, dress up in the army of the Lord. But that's mm -hmm. every Wednesday live, 7.30 p.m. on WMKM 1440. Or even go to gospel1440.com. But people actually, you know, hear from their radios. We are, have our own TV show that we've been on for years. Darlene and Sarah Gospel Spectacular is aired on Comcast slash Xfinity. 
Detroit, 6.30 p.m. Channel 20. Or if you live in yes. East Oakland or Macomb County, 8 o'clock a.m. Channel 90. Or daily on Anton Fireboy Bell Station, BGN TV, gospel.com. So we're just excited. We're recording artists. And we're just doing it all for the Lord. But then, then we're Amen. passing. Now we're Amen. shepherding. God's people, and I tell you, Bishop, I I love that call, and I come on every night, 9.30 p.m., every single day, praise, break, yeah. and you said, what's the pray? we praise God, we go wild in Jesus every night, we dance, we sing, and, we, and we, we're thankful for the Lord, and, and now, you know, our services are virtual, one o'clock p.m. on my page, Darlene Bell, uh, in parentheses, Pastor Darlene Bell. But when we start our services, we're going to start, our services will be in the afternoon, 2.30 p.m. for starters. Because mm -hmm. a lot of people say they want to come to our services. Um, and we just felt led of the Lord. This will give people a chance. If you want to go to your service, then you come to our service, 2.30. And if, even if you have an afternoon service, go to afternoon service after. Amen. And then, Bishop, if you know any pastors that will want to rent a church in the morning, we're going to make that available as well. So, Oh, yeah, please. We'll, we'll get that information. We'll get that information from you and, and uh, check that out. Okay. Now, where, where is the church located? It's in Troy, Michigan. Now, listen, <laughs> some people say, Troy, look, let me tell what I tell our members. It's not too far from Oakland Mall. Now, people go to Oakland Mall all the time. Three minutes from Oakland Mall, it's on Dequinder and Maple, which that's 15 mile road. Not too far from Somerset Mall. And I know a yeah. lot of you all, that's why you go. You go. Don't pay, you know, I tell you, you're right. I tell them the same thing. I don't pay them no mind. They right. go where they want to go. They go to Toledo. They go to everywhere <laughs> else to shop. Damn. They go to Frankenmuth, stay all day. Uh -huh. and, and they go to Canada and shop yes. stay all day. That's they right. get on buses and go to New York and <laughs> shop. And, and you know, Detroit, everything is moved out in the suburban areas. So we know Northland is not there anymore. So trust me, they driving everywhere they want to go. Uh huh. Yes. So they can drive to come to church. That's right. That's right. That's right. All lead to a uh, exciting life, Christian Center, right in Troy, Michigan. <laughs> Amen. So yeah, we'll 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 be able to publish the address and everything when your services start, so everybody can go. That's and right. Support all of the folk we grew up with, Nona. Some of them are in here. Core. Oh, all the old United House of Jeremiah crew, Cynthia Pope, uh, Angel, 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 Angel Gamble, and um, uh, somebody called Happy Apple. <laughs> oh, that's not me. And Angel Gamble, that's one of the VIPs of the praise break. All right. Happy well, they, Apple is my cousin. All right. Well, she, the, she's you know her real comments. well. But I think she likes to keep her name just sir. You know her bishop. Okay. <laughs> yeah. well, thank you for joining us, Happy. Yeah. <laughs> We're happy. That's what you Angel. Oh, she's uh she's my spiritual daughter. And okay. she's at our praise break every single night. Kudos to you, young lady. Thank you for joining Yeah, in. bless you all. Uh continue to share. Cora Williams, I remember all all those stuff. Listen, I was talking to even uh, Bishop Ward and Talking to I, I matter of fact, I talked to Olivia not long ago, and uh, we just been doing what we call wellness check. You know, yeah, every right. now and then go through the phone book. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I talked to the Benny Johnson and oh, and, and all, all right. that crew, just trying to catch up, check on everybody. Gregory Troy, you know, okay, you know, uh, when we were going back, I, I was I was going to mention, I remember you all singing way back when, when Reverend James Marks was at United House of Jeremiah. He was there and they used yeah. to do those rock gospel concerts where all the churches come together and everybody would sing. All of those, those, those were some glorious times. Sure this, was. We're looking forward 
to to uh, uh, the first service in your new edifice. Yes. We know God is going to bless, and so just let us know what we can do on our platform. And uh, uh, when you get ready to do it, we'll, we'll do a special cut broadcast to talk about it and pre-record whatever we got to do. We want to talk about it so everybody will know. 2.30 in the afternoon, everybody ought to be able to uh, come by and just uh, be a blessing. Yes, indeed. We're looking forward to it. Now, how do you all do that? You all, you all always have been just an example. Two sisters singing together, working music ministry together, working church. Now you're pastoring together. And so when we come to your worship, you know, uh, 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 you all share the pulpit as well. Yes. So yes. What, a, what a blessing. What a blessing. So do y'all yes, rotate do. Sundays or how do y'all do that? Yes, uh -huh. we do. Um, first, uh -huh. like we're at, you know, a direct of the services. I preach first Sundays. Pass their preach second Sunday. You know we, you know we, of course we intertwine. But first Sunday is I preach. She preaches second Sunday. Third Sunday is what we call our youth Sunday, which we allow others to speak, and we really we bless them. You know, and mm -hmm. we're training. We're going. We're a training center. We're taking that up a step level too. So third Sunday is our youth uh, service where it doesn't mean age-wise, it just means other people that have um, a talent, they want to share a word. You know, of course, we oversee it. They get an opportunity to do that because I tell people, you sitting in the church and you're not using your gift, you don't use it, you will lose it. So mm -hmm. that's an opportunity for, you know, give people a, 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 another opportunity in our within our church and then as God leads, you know, those that's outside of our church. Yes, yes. And then fourth Sunday, we usually just, we share that uh, pulpit together. And then fifth Sunday is our evangelistic um, Sundays where we have ordained events like my daughter, Sarah uh, Bell. She's an um, ordained, uh, ordained evangelist. Evangelist Derek is ordained. And there's another a lady in our church, Evangelist Robin. So that Sunday is for them to uh to go for it. so yeah and oh, then even Amen. with if we you know we're really led highly by the lord you know that we're we're constantly always ministering together because mm -hmm. i mean we've just been doing this together for so long and god has called Amen. us to do everything together yeah oh that's yeah. that's awesome that's awesome I, i'm i'm telling people as we uh come out of this pandemic the lord has been sharing with me the day of the Lone Rangers over, and even when yeah. Jesus in his ministry, he sent them out two by two. You know, yes. nobody, nobody should be out here by themselves. Mm -hmm. And I thank God for those who are kingdom minded and they're they're getting the message to share and to merge and to uh get into covenant relationship and mm -hmm. fellowship because uh, uh, uh we're all out for the same reason, we all got the same agenda. We That's might right. be stationed locally in different places in different regions, but uh, uh, and we've had to update the method, but the message is still the same. Still, yeah, the same. That's right. still that's the right. same. I mean, so I oh yeah, I'm so excited for you all. It's it's such a blessing when you when you know people and you know from whence they come and you watch the glory of the Lord just shine through their life and the blessing. Yes and the gifts, the anointings, and the talent, Amen. and how you all, everything God has given to you, you gave it back to him. Yeah. Oh, you, you all you all are such a blessing. Now, tell tell the people, if they want to get in touch with you, and uh, how they can reach you, and uh, if they want to invite you all to speak or sing, how people can get in touch with you. Okay, I'm going to give um, our prayer line which is 313-574-8256. Um, Amen. Or they can email us at pastordarlenebell at gmail.com. Okay, give that number one more time. Here's a number. Um, <laughs> yeah. Our, we, our church does have a, a new phone. <laughs> yeah. give, that, give that prayer line one more time. Uh, just at this point, call 313 
five seven four eight two five six. That's our prayer that's line. Right. When you see our TV show, that's the number that's on that line. Or you can email us at Pastor Darlene Bell at gmail.com. All right. Pastor Darlene right. Bell at gmail.com. All right. Darlene Bell. Oh, blessings, bless. That's a great. Yes. So, so Sarah. Yes. Listen. Thank you, and please tell tell your husband how much we appreciate you all. Well, can he tell you himself? Yeah. Come on, come on, Rick. Come on, Hello. Rick. Hey, man. It's good. it's good. Get in the camera. It's good to see. Man, it's good it's to good be to seen see here and see know you. that. Um, <laughs> it's good to know that um, everyone here is sent by the Lord because we need the Lord. Yes, sir. It's our time. It's our time. It's not the world time. But it's our time. Because God knows that are willing to come to us. The Bible said many are called, but few are chosen. If yes, you are sir. chosen, we have to make sure that we are equipped with the word of God. And my last word to that, before you mess up, you dress up in the yeah. honor of the Lord. All right. Bless you, man. Amen. Bless you all. <laughs> Happy anniversary to you, both of you again. And thank you for taking this time. Listen, this has been awesome. This has been just so refreshing and uh, so exciting for me to be able to have both of you all at the same time and just Amen. a little bit about your story and what God has done, what God is doing. And listen, friends, if you missed any part of this, uh, certainly go back. It'll reload. And then I want you to subscribe to uh, Bishop Andreas Wood's YouTube channel. Yes. Go there. You'll be able to see this and so many other interviews that we've done in the past. We got to do this again. We yes. sure do. After y'all get in the church and things get to moving and going. You know, uh, we want certainly want to highlight what God is doing in your ministry. So, listen. Uh, any parting words from 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 Darlene or Sarah? Anything y'all want to say before we go? Yes, I would like to just say this: sisters love one another. Yeah, it's also it's awesome being close to your sister. Mm -hmm. And if you're if you're angry with your sister, forgive her and forgive yourself. Amen. And love one another. Amen. Oh, Amen. Awesome. Thank you. That is awesome, Pastor uh, Sarah. And it is a blessing that when, you know, you and your sister or your family can just be co-laborers together, you know. And I just want to leave this with people. Look, stand firm on the word of God. Every promise of God. Amen. Is yea and in him, amen. Yeah. Psalm 103 said, bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my all that is in me, bless his holy name. Don't yeah. forget his benefits. You have, we have benefits as the children of God. What yeah. are the benefits? I'm going to just go through them quickly. Forgiveness. Forgive yeah. yourself. Forgive others. God, uh, God yeah. will forgive you. Secondly, he heals all of our disease. Sometimes That's you right. want to quote that word. Maybe like Pastor Sarah taught me this years ago, thousand times a day. But with his stripes, I'm healed. That's the That's second right. thing he heals all of our disease. Don't you give mm -hmm. up on God because he won't give up on you. Don't you don't you stop trusting? Then thirdly, That's he right. redeems our life from destruction. Mm. And then he give he crowns us with with loving kindness, tender mm. mercy. But I love the, the last bit of bit. He renews our youth. Too, yeah. too many saints have sloppy tongues. You say mm -hmm. sloppy tongues, saying anything. Don't say anything that you don't want. That's just right. Just That's right. Life. Such thing as, oh, I'm just so beat up. I'm so T I R E D. I don't even say that word. Well, you don't want your immune system to be that. What, you know, right. if you say something, you shouldn't say, bind it in the yeah. name of Jesus and praise God. Like, I see why Paul said, rejoice in the Lord. Yes, yes. Again, I say rejoice. Thank you, Bishop. 
for having Thank us you. on the show. Thank you for being a Thank part you. of our journey. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, and thank all of you that joined us. Uh, those that just didn't come in the comment section, I'm, I'm learning that so many people watch. Everybody don't like being in the comment section, but thank you, uh, those of you that did, and thank all of you for sharing with us. Listen, we want to close with a word of prayer because uh, I'm so excited about, I know, uh, as we praise God for what he's done. This, this is my praise. I praise him like this every day in three yeah. minutes. I praise him for what he's done. I praise him for what he's doing. And I praise him for what he's getting ready to do. That's right. That's right. Come. So let's pray. Father, we thank you. Thank we you. We give your name, glory, honor, and yeah. praise. We bless your name for this honor yeah. to share with your chosen vessels, pastors Darlene and Sarah. We In pray now Jesus. continually that you will go before them and make easy and successful their way. We thank mm -hmm. you for how you've brought them and how you've kept yeah. them. And we thank you for the assignment that's upon their life yeah, as yeah. of today, God, as they go forth in ministry. We pray now, Psalms 1917, upon their lives. And let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon them. Establish the work of thy hands upon them. Yea, Lord, the work of thy hands establish thy which. So, Father, yes. the servant's prayer is that you will cause to prosper everything that they put their hands to. We yes. thank you for Amen. provision for the vision in the master's name of Jesus. Now, God, if there's a need in their individual lives, we yeah. ask you to bless them because you said you will bless us according to your word. And yeah. you right. by all of our needs according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. So God bless them spiritually, physically, yes. mentally, emotionally, financially, whatever the need might be for their home, for their families, for their ministry. God, yes. we trust you and we believe you. And as we come together in agreement and faith, we know it shall be done. You said if two shall touch and agree upon anything, you will do it, God, and you're in the midst. So God, we ask you in faith, trusting and believing that all yes. things shall come to pass. Every word that's been spoke to them, every prophetic word, God bless them to walk it out, to live in it, in the master's name of Jesus. And yes. we'll be careful yes. to give your name glory, honor, and praise. This is your servant's prayer. Amen. And thank God. Amen. All Amen. right. Now y'all just get ready. Uh just tell your neighbor. I said, tell you, tell each other, get ready for the overflow, because God's going to do it. Yeah. He's going to he yes. rewards uh -huh. obedience and faithfulness. Oh, I enjoyed this. We got to do it again, y'all. So we'll yes. talk about that. Well, until next time, friends, Bishop Andre Woods, and I want to command the blessings of the Lord to overtake you. That yes. is my prayer in Jesus' name. God bless y'all. Talk to y'all later. Yes, God bless okay. you. Thanks again God for bless having you. God bless you. Bless, you. bless you, evangelist. God bless you, sir. Yes, sir.